Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie is it done. This is Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we are back with another exhibition match. Now we're going to have a couple matches between El Torero and Aqu El Torero. Got rolled yards there. Torero. El Torero. I don't know, I have a problem with that. I, I'm bilingual with French. Anyway, <laughs> it's like I've, I've been learning French since I was a child. I should be able to roll my R's, no problem. El Torero. Torero. There we go. El Torero and Aquanim on Geyser Planes, and who doesn't love Geyser Planes? Me, that's who, but we're gonna play it anyway. Actually, it's not that bad, it's just kinda small. Yeah, I'm actually lying, this is actually a pretty interesting map. It, it does tend to generate, degenerate a little bit into center fights, that's the one thing. I mean, the south four plus four is really important, the center two plus two point eights are really important, the north is less important than it looks, or at least is undervalued. If it's not less important than it looks, it's definitely undervalued. People tend to expand this, this area last. Also, the asymmetry is kind of awkward. This, this is a very awkward map. It's not like it's ugly or anything, it's just awkward. Got a pretty nice skybox, though. But yeah, it's just... Kind of awkward. It has this this archaic feel to it. Just I think it's well, it is old. I'm sure it's old. I mean, just the fact that the metal extractors are so chaotic. Very clearly, it's an old map. But let's watch the players. This is a very popular map. Actually, this is a map that tends to be played quite a lot. We saw it in the Clan Wars actually on Saturday. It was the second map that was played. Although El Torero was not in that match, they had played in the first one for GBC. But that was basically as a mercenary. They did not play in the second match. And they are. Well, light vehicles, good, always popular choice. And hovercrafts from Aquanim going for quick, quick riots. Defensive play from Aquanim. It's gonna be a bit tricky to pull that off though. And they've their mace has been shown. El Torero knows the mace is coming. Now, are they gonna switch over to Ravagers or I guess Levelers, or what are they gonna do? Because they probably don't want to go for this. Wolverines be another option. Dominatrix, very good choice. That is a really good option because this is extremely 400 metal. Pretty much the entire starting storage. And with plus 8 metal, that is saying a lot. That's like a minute's worth of metal. And I mean, they were building other stuff too. So that's a minute's worth of production. This mace, they're basically going for a mace commander cheese. That's what they're doing. And the dominatrix here is a great ant. Mace around. That's what it's going to do. It'll take that mace and it'll just say, yeah, acronym. How do you like having the mace attack your commander? So, nice scouting on El Torero's part, good response. Now, the important thing is that it works. Oh yeah, I have a pointing in the chat that this is probably working, or the idea is that it's working because Mace is kind of falling on a meta. People don't use Mace that often, they'll use Scallops, they'll use Halberds, they'll, sorry, Scalpels, they'll use Halberds, they'll use Daggers, of course, because that's the Raider, but Mace has really fell out of favor because they, they got nerfed fairly recently, like a few months ago, and Scalpels are quite strong, so Scalpels tend to beat Mace, so in a Hover-Hover matchup, it's difficult. And even in Hover and other matchups, it's still kind of tricky. Just because they are slow. They're a slow riot. So it's difficult for them to keep... I mean, all riots are slow, but they're slow for a vehicle riot. However, they do have... And also, actually, they're, they're slow and they don't have an AoE attack. Their big thing is that their attack is hit scan. They don't miss. That's their big strength. Their big weakness, of course, is the fact that they have no AoE. The speed is also a weakness, but the AoE, lack of AoE is huge. And Rockicom and Aquanim's commander are about to be turned against themselves, but nope. Not yet. Now the big thing, of course, is El Torero does not have the, its dummy is not in position. Just about El Torero's commander gonna be killed though, and that's still a pretty successful attack. The Dominatrix has not taken the mace yet, and if they do, that could turn this whole thing around. But it's not getting targeted. The Dominatrix might go down, and Aquanim, yes, it's gonna go down. Oh wow, nice dodge. Never mind. Again, again a good dodge. El Torero is just keeping up. No! Missed that dodge, and that Dominatrix is not going to work out. Good response, but it really came down to positioning, and they almost had that mace, too. But by that point, their commander had already gone down. Akronim's commander took it. Akronim took it. I mean, good dodges off that Dominatrix, but really, it's just not enough. Everything was out of position right as Akronim came in. Akronim came in. My goodness. I know English, too, natively. You think I'm I'm non-lingual. I have no language skills whatsoever. If you're comprehending anything, that's just that's your own fever dreams. That's a product of your own deranged imagination. I'm just babbling here. Anyway. 
deranged babblings aside, the game's over. That's it. That's why I had the freedom to start making fun of myself. So, there was another match that was played between the two. I'm assuming it wasn't quite as short. Particularly since it was on Into Battle, and it's also listed the duration it's considerably longer. Yeah, Into Battle, which is not as easily cheesed a map. It's still cheesable. You can still take the northwest and cheese it that way. Well, start in the northwest or start in the southeast and then go for the rush. But that's harder to do. Comes up fairly often, though. The last couple of matches I've cast on Into Battle actually had that happen. Like, last two out of the three matches I've casted on that map have had that happen. Anyway, that was that. Good demonstration of the way that you do a mace rush. Especially against the Dominatrix. I'm surprised, too, because that... I don't know what better counter there would have been. The slashes were a nice touch, too. I mean, that was all really good choices. It was just the positioning. It was the very last step. And it just fell apart. That's the thing with rushes. Execution is a huge part of it. Anyway, that is that game. We'll move on to the next game between these two. Just a moment, so stay tuned for that. <laughs>